Hello guys, welcome back to Kessie's Cuisine, where we satisfy your food cravings with easy and amazing recipes. If you're new to my channel, hello, you're welcome. And if you're holding this channel, what's up? Thank you for coming back to my channel. Now today we are going to be making jerk chicken and jerk turkey. And when I tell you that this thing was this thing was giving everything that it was supposed to give <laughs> it was you see how happy i look after taking the bite come along let me show you how to make this incredible chicken and turkey yeah this is what it looks like finger licking good now let's go through the ingredients we are going to be using some chicken this my chicken and my turkey they were already cleaned and washed and ready to be marinated you can use just turkey or just chicken depends on what you prefer and then i'm going to be using some spring onion then i'm going to be using some onions i'm going to use some thyme if you have fresh thyme it is better but i didn't have that so i will be using dry thyme i'm also going to be using some lemon the juice of a lemon i'm going to be using the juice of a lime and then i'm also going to be using some um honey this jerk turkey is just the combination of all this spice just makes it just give it a very beautiful balance this is a um, jerk spice it is really really nice and amazing this is brown sugar yeah i'm going to be using some brown sugar and then i'm going to be using some scotch bonnet pepper because it gives it a very beautiful balance of sweet and spicy at the same time so the flavors of this thing is just so incredible this is some black soy sauce i'm going to be using some ginger i'm going to be using olive oil you can use vegetable oil if you have that i'm going to be using some orange juice everything is just so beautiful when it comes to building up the flavors of this um beautiful marinade so i'm going to chop my spring onion my ginger my red onion into blendable sizes for my food processor okay now for my ginger i just put um i chopped it into half i didn't put everything i used half of my ginger and then i used the whole of my onion and then i used the whole of my um spring onions or green onions i'll add everything to my food processor your scotch bonnet pepper you can add as high or as much or as low as you can tolerate okay but for me i could only tolerate about maybe say five so that's what i added i added in my time and then i would just pop everything into my blender it doesn't need like a sequence okay i added in my brown sugar to my blender i added in my dark soy sauce when you are making this you don't need to add in any seasoning cube or anything nah everything like this is just perfect i added in some amount of honey i was adding and adding until the ancestor said it's all right then what did i add again let's go let's go i added in my um jerk spice the, for this my jerk spice i added in about two to three um teaspoons and then i added in my orange juice oh my god this thing is just so beautiful and i added in my olive oil i'm going to blend that all together okay i added in my lime juice and my lemon juice half of my lime juice half of my lemon juice and then i'm going to blend everything together and i'm going to use it to marinate my chicken and my turkey mm. anyway when i was done adding everything it was time for me to blend 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 you want you want to blend it to a smooth consistency and if you have like if you blend so much you can actually keep your marinades in the fridge for about two weeks 
you can use it again you can you can use your marinade again for something else okay so you don't have to be you don't have to panic when you blend when, when, when you blend and you have like so much juice you no know, you can actually keep it for, to use it later for something else so this was what my marinade was looking like it's smooth it smells beautiful and then i added it to my chicken and my turkey and i'm i'm going to keep this i kept this overnight yeah i kept it overnight because the more you marinate the more the chicken tends to absorb all the juice and goodies that you have just put there and if you have not subscribed to my channel what are you waiting for come on join the family already you can see we do good when we bring by bringing you beautiful amazing easy tasty finger licking recipes so don't be outside the box don't be outside the building join the family all right subscribe like comment share this video anyway i put my um i'll put i'll go put my chicken in the fridge and i'll come back to show you how i do it the next day okay okay so it was the next day my chicken and my turkey they were well marinated i'm going to be using my air fryer for this recipe today you can use your oven you can use a barbecue stand you can use whatever you want to use but for me today i'm going to be using my air fryer and i'm going to be putting you want to make sure that you give your chicken or your turkey like enough space in the um, air fryer basket so that the heat will really really cook it like thoroughly true it's going to cook up it's going to cook down but make sure you don't cluster it so much now for my temperature i'm going to i kept it first of all at 200 degrees and i was um i kept it for about 20 minutes i think 20 minutes and when i did this it was it was too hot <laughs> it was too hot i felt like the 200 degrees uh, for 20 minutes was just too hot for the chicken it came out nice it came out perfect but then again it was too hot it was too hot i'll show you what it looks like and what i did for the next batch all right while my chicken and my turkey were um a frying i decided it is time for me to prepare my mango salsa i've actually done this a couple of times on my youtube channel so it's not something new for my old subscribers but if you're new here yeah mango salsa is just like a sweet beautiful um salad and it's very healthy as you can see what i used i used some mango fresh make sure your mango is ripe fresh mango and then i added in some cucumber and i added in some red onion and then i'll be adding in some sweet corn and if you have some parsley it is so so nice if you just sprinkle a little parsley on it but for me i really like keeping my mango salsa really simple and really beautiful yeah so what i used for this combination was a very beautiful nice ripe mango i used some amount of cucumber i used some red onion i used some sweet pepper and then i'm going to be using some sweet corn all right now let's go back to our chicken to see what it looks like after 20 minutes with 200 degrees can you see it was okay but nah it was too it was too brown it was too brown for my liking you know not like it was too brown for my liking but it was looking like it's burnt and i didn't like that so for the second batch of my turkey we are going to be reducing our temperature to 180 and we are still going to do it for about 20 minutes yeah 180 20 minutes and the next batch came out I, I really really like how it was looking so for my back to my our mango salsa 
when you are done with all your vegetables you want to add in about depending on the amount of salad you make you want to add in some lime juice and then you want to add in if you have some vegetable oil or olive oil you can sprinkle that on it you can sprinkle some parsley on it and you just toss that all together and just like that your mango salsa is ready yeah this house this salad is very 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 nice i learned it last year and now i can't even stop so it's so nice you want to toss that all together and yeah it's ready so we'll go back to our chicken that was um air frying at 180 degrees for 20 minutes for me or to me i prefer the look of this it's not looking so burnt and then it's not looking so burnt it just looks perfect for me it looks perfect and this was what i preferred so everything note that for this my chicken and for the other one it was cooked thoroughly like it cooked through so it was not bloody it was not um the inside of the chicken was not red like those like medium cooked chicken nah it was really really cooked but if you would prefer to use or if, if you would prefer your chicken to be more grilled um than this if you prefer it to be more brown then of course please you can do it in, at 200 for 20 minutes or even more everything like you just just do you girl just do you and just like that my food was ready i served my salsa and then i served my jerk turkey now this is the truth this jerk turkey is the truth don't play this guy was so nice so juicy so in fact please 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 subscribe already uh uh all right this was what it looks like this was what my presentation looked like and this is all for this video and i'll see you in my next video bye